All right, chip of the day. This one is an SCLF-45, and it is a, a low-pass filter. Um, so not exactly a chip, sort of a module, but I'll call it a chip. Uh, you solder it down just like a chip. It's got eight, le eight legs on it, so we'll call it a chip. Um, so it says 50 ohms, DC to 45 megahertz. I guess that's the dash four five and uh, low pass. So uh, interestingly, um, whenever you think about a low pass filter, you always think about the graph uh, frequency uh, versus um, versus amplitude, right? And low pass means that it's passing and then it'll it'll fall it'll fall down like this, right? So this is the shape of the graph that you're expecting to see. It's flat for a while and I guess 45 45 megahertz and then it rolls off after 45 megahertz. And then you look at the data sheet and you say, well, that's not right. <laughs> oh wait a minute. Uh, no, 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 there's no graph like that on the data sheet. It's kind of interesting. They have the inverse of this graph, okay? They have uh, attenuation versus frequency, right? So how much of a attenuation do you have at 45, at 45 megahertz, right? It's gonna be about three dB, that's where you specify. So if you have the three dB drop and the, 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 the attenuation goes up, so it's the, the inverse of, of the other type of graph. So anyway, that's kind of, that's kind of interesting. So it says here our insertion loss is about 1 dB, up to 45 megahertz. And then if you look here, the 3 dB roll off is at 55 megahertz. So uh, that's pretty cool. And then you have a 20 dB of attenuation at F3, which is, uh, let's see, 70 megahertz. And F4, you have 40 dB with 90 megahertz. So anyway. There you go, and then they give you a nice chart here too if you really, really care. They also tell you insertion loss versus frequency. Isn't that just the graph that we had? Maybe just a different plot. Here's return loss, kind of an interesting return loss diagram, and uh, group delay. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look at it. I took this out of a piece of equipment that I threw away. Uh, I just had a PC board. Um, and uh, I salvaged a couple parts off of it and it had this filter on it. So I just mounted it to this little PC board here, put some connectors on it so we can play with it. Uh, the, the layout of this thing is uh, there's an input pin, an output pin, and everything else is ground. So very, very easy to hook up. Uh, so yeah, let's turn on the VNA and uh, give it a try. Yeah, that looks like a low pass to me for sure. Right down there. So uh, let's see here. We can uh, change some scales here. Scale reference position. Let's move it up here. And let's change the frequency. Let's go out to uh, 200 megahertz. And then you can see we have a nice low pass filter. And then let's do a marker. We can look at our, our insertion loss here, 0.1 dB. At 40 megahertz, it's 0.4 dB. And it's a 45 megahertz filter. So at 40, 45, it's about 0.5 dB. And let's look at its 1 dB roll off. It's 1 dB roll off is around here at 53 megahertz. Um, so yeah, it's doing, doing the thing. Let's change our scale here to 1 dB. Yeah, there we go. So there is our fall off. Let's go, let's do a five here. That looks very nice. And then what did it say? The uh, 20 dB roll off, let's go back to marker. Our 20 dB roll off was around 70 and it's 65. And then our 40 was at 90 and it's at 83. So yeah, it's doing all the filtery type stuff just to fine, just to fine. So um, let's take a look at um, insertion. I mean, we, we did insertion loss, we did roll off. We can look at uh, uh, return loss. Uh, <clears throat> and we can go to, uh, 
log mag. Here's our return loss. So this is how much power is reflected back. You can see that since it's a low pass filter, all of it gets reflected back uh, at the higher frequencies. And then um, we have a good match. We have a, a, a good transmission match in the other direction uh, in the pass band. So there you go. It's looking pretty good. Viswer. So you can see that when we're in the pass band here, we're, we have a Viswer of, of, of less than 1.4 to 1. And then it goes crazy when, uh, when you're reflecting all the power. So there you go. All right, let's go back out to one gigahertz. And uh, you can see that it's starting to, it's starting to um, leak a little bit, I would say. I have a really good uh, attenuation here, minus 50. And it comes up to, it comes up here to uh, minus 20, 26 dB at one gigahertz. So awfully good filter. Many circuits knows what they're doing. All right, that was chip of the day in SCLLF-45. Um, I was told the plus means that it's, uh, uh, what is it, row compliant? Uh, what's the name of that stuff? Anyway, it's not got no lead in it. <laughs> um, so yeah, there you go. Ah, it's right here. Plus R-O-H-S compliant. The plus suffix indicates compliance. So yeah, there you go.